Hey guys, welcome back to my channel and today we are going to do some icicle nails. I'm so excited for these nails. I've had this filmed for probably about two months and I've been wanting to edit it, but this took a lot of editing. So I'm taking Mia secret forms here and I put the little circle underneath to give this a little bit uh, more structure for the C curve. I did not cut these forms this time because I have some room at the edge of my nail. So I was able to fit the form under there without any issues and without a gap and if you do have that issue cut your forms um, like slivers on the side and it helps a ton so I'm taking IBD clear gel and I'm placing this on the tip and then fading it up about halfway onto my natural nail and then we are going to take saran wrap and poke it into this wet layer and then we will cure it with that saran wrap on All right, taking off that saran wrap and you're left with like these pointy divots. It's awesome. This one, my little cray cray, because again, this was the first one that I was doing and I end up filing it now. So it's still wet, like it's it's dry, but it's, it's wet, so sticky, still so has that tacky layer on. So I do wipe it off, but it's, it's kind of messy to file it now, but I really wanted to file it now because the amount of gel I end up adding is just, hmm, it's okay. So I file this into shape and then we are gonna come back. Picking out our chrome and some shiny pieces, and I just absolutely love these. These are from AliExpress and Born Pretty. So what I'm doing is taking a thin layer. Like you literally see me put, I didn't have to be that dramatic. I didn't have to push so hard. I could have used more gel and it would be fine. So what I'm doing is I'm putting that on and then I'm coming in with some of that chrome powder. And this is just a um, pearl chrome powder. Use whichever one you want, but this is the one I chose. And then I come in with those kind of like mirror type shards. Taking marshmallow and we are going to kind of fade this down into that icicle part and I love this so I was really trying to figure out if I wanted a full clear nail or I wanted like something to fade down into it and I thought icicle snow why not do it that way so what I'm doing is I'm doing the back part so the cuticle down to a little bit over that free edge area and then I'm going to cure that part and then I take a second layer. So what you wanna do is work in layers when you are building up and kind of dragging it down so you don't end up having gel flood everywhere. I think later in the tutorial, I forget to put the shards down and then it just goes everywhere. But again, take your time. And then what you're gonna do is cure this and then come in with that uh, IBD gel and repeat that process.
All right, that is fully cured now, and I am taking an e-file because you'll be filing for hand forever. So this ended up getting really bulky. All the nails actually get really bulky for me because I just build up and I'm like, okay, yeah, it's fine. I'll just file it down. Well, you definitely want an e-file with this specific look. I would say even in general, you want an e-file with gel because you know you can't soak it off. But this look specifically, I needed an e-file because I filed so much for each of them. I don't keep all the filing in, don't worry. I just put this one in, I think maybe one more. And so what we're gonna do is repeat that process, but I'm not gonna make you sit in it in real time. You're already six minutes in. So we will go ahead and let this finish. top coat and then we will also top coat the underneath of the nail. All right, I do have a bonus part, but this is the end of this specific tutorial. I loved it so much. This was a lot, um, it was a lot of work, but I loved it, if that makes sense. I just really had fun with it. I just didn't take it too serious. Here's your bonus. I'm adding some blue. I had too much blue here, but you know, you live and you learn. And I'm going to take acetone because this specific one works well with acetone. I'm pretty sure I took acetone. It might have been cleanser because it doesn't work as well with cleanser. And that would leave more behind. I'm not sure at this point. Again, it was two months ago. Acetone, cleanser, whatever one you want. And I end up loving how these come out. 
I almost want to put this as the default photo, but I haven't done the default photo yet. Maybe I'll put it like at the bottom of like a little sneak peek. Yeah, I had too much blue on. So yeah, that is so fun. I loved this so much. I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. Go ahead and give this video a thumbs up and subscribe and I'll catch you in the next one. Bye-bye.